Welcome to Out of Bed Podcast. I am Gabby Epstein and I'm here with the beautiful Mia Malkova and um, we're here to entertain you and yep. talk about a revelation I just discovered and I'm very excited about. I don't know if we always have to, during the intro, talk about what we're going to talk about because we really don't know what we're going to talk about. I think we just like a one-time thing. Huh? I'll never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of on to you. Why? Why are you on to me? <laughs> You're on to me? I'm on to you. Damn. Yes. Why? Yes. Anytime, I, this is, I think that anytime I message you something and I ask you a question that you don't like, you pretend you never saw it. Yeah. I see. <laughs> see? <laughs> yeah. I do, I do it with everyone though, not just you. Yeah. Yeah. You even did it with my TikTok ideas. Oh my God. And I, I knew, I knew Gabby's probably not going to like this, but, but Gabby just pretends she doesn't see it. Yeah. And then I see her messaging in the other group chat. Yeah, that, that's, that was my downfall. <laughs> you know, it's like when someone hasn't replied, but you see them post an Instagram photo. Yeah, that's what you do. We just, we're in so many group messages together. You can't get away That I can't it. not reply because these are things that have to be answered straight away. Yeah. By me. Yep. And she texts me and she's like, do you want to do this TikTok? It was a very cute idea. I think Harland would have done a great job at it. I think it's, you would have done a great. It's trending right it now. It was. It was dancing. Yes. It was dancing. Um, and I would rather pick my eyeballs out with this than do that dance on TikTok. Why did you just take that off? Because I thought about doing the dance, <laughs> and the anxiety of that made me fidget with this. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but I, I was like, do I reply? To, how do I say? I hate this idea. I hate this. Do you know me at so all at much. this point? I, I, I could not. I could not do it. My, I can't do it. It's okay. You replied by not replying. I did. I think that's. <laughs> I think that is a good precedent to say. I, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. It's like if you get ghosted or you ghost someone, you're like, you know the message that yeah. I sent. Yes, exactly. You know, it's it's yeah. almost kinder than saying, I just don't like you. I don't like this TikTok. I don't yeah. have that idea. Yeah. I don't want to do this. I don't want to see you again. But I had so- I had another idea, and I was like, "Yeah, but it might be a terrible idea. Just be honest with me." Just Gabby didn't, didn't respond to it, <laughs> <laughs> and that was an answer. You know? <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna pick an emoji now when I, if I want to say no to you because you're the sweetest human ever. So I I. I can say no to a lot of people very easily and very bluntly. Like, this whole team knows how blunt I am. Yeah. But you, I just, like, want to say yes to you. I have a little puppy. So sweet. You just want to protect me. And I feel like it's, it's like, taking a, 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 like, a toy away from, like, like a, a three-month-old puppy. Like, I don't want to do it. it. I don't want to do it. it is like, Guys, right? You yeah. agree? Yeah. Don't want to do it. Don't want to disappoint you. Um, <laughs> so that, that's how my mind... I can, we can, I can convey the message without being like, without telling you no. I don't think I could tell you no. Let's come up with an emoji. Okay. We're going to like, maybe like a, like a worm for a no and a butter. I mean, I was going to say butterfly for a yes, but I'll just say yes. Yeah. What about like, <laughs> are they little elephant emojis? I don't know why I think they'd be funny. I think it's an elephant. Okay. I'll, I'll Do you want to just elephant. send me an elephant? Yeah. I'll okay. send an elephant like gif or yeah. gif. Was it gif or gif? Gif, whatever you feel gif, like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then that'll just be like. No, no, Mia. Okay. We're not doing that. That's a horrible idea. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I'll send you that. And I that's that's me. And it's cute. Trampling that idea. Yes. You know. Yes. Just I don't feel on it. Yes, that's what I was thinking. You're just crushing, way, crushing my hopes and dreams with a cute emoji. Yeah. That softens the blow. Just with the you know the enormous <laughs> weight of an elephant. Just stamp it out. You know. <laughs> perfect. Um, but we were talking earlier. I was like, very excited before. Oh, no, you and did. I had to contain myself because I have found... Okay, this has been a source of contention on the internet for years. If you follow me on Instagram, my feet receive a lot of criticism. What? And a lot of praise, but criticism. Okay. Um, I have a lot of feet fans, which is I know is normal. But then people tell me I have like gecko feet. And it's become such a thing that people message me on Instagram and call me the lizard queen. And not just like one person. No, I'm not kidding, not one person. I'm gonna send you screenshots to add to this. It's a, it, it is a whole saga trilogy on my Instagram that I have 
perpetuated for years now because I kind of like it. Uh, that. Yeah, that's what my toes look like. Oh, now Wait. I have you guys, and it's become such a thing. What? And I have like I've definitely fed into it. Yeah. Like I read all the messages right. and then I repost them on my story because I want to build this mystery around and, your feet. Okay, so this is how it started. So a couple of years ago, it's like 130 weeks ago, I posted this series of Instagram stories. I bought these really cute clear heels. I see that that I thought were cute in the store yeah. and the saleswoman told me I look cute in them. Oh, oh. They, this is what they look like. <laughs> you know, once you get out of the Steve Madden store where they, like, where they put the lighting to make your feet look good. Yeah. I got home and I was like, what the fuck did I buy? What were those little sausages that you used the to have? Frankfurt's? In- no, 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 not Frankfurt's, but it's but the little sausages that you would have um, as kids. Oh, Whatever. they were so See, that, that, good. That, that's what I was going Savina, for. Savina, is it called Savina? Vienna. Vienna. Oh, Vienna sausage. Guys, this is the look that I was going for. You know, Kylie Jenner, mm. her toes look cute. If you have a feet fetish, you know, <laughs> you can get into it. Wait, Richie, can you click through the stories a bit? I just want to show you the kind of messages I get. Look how many stories there are. This has been a whole thing. If you, like, click through it a bit, you can see all this like talking class. shit. No one wants, wants to listen to me talk, you know? A lot. <laughs> On a podcast. <laughs> On a podcast. <laughs> and I got tips. Back. People told me to warm it up with a blow dryer. Yeah, you know? warming up with a blow dryer is actually really nice. This person was being nice to you. Very helpful. Yes. But, but skip through to like the oh, more Oh, that actually ones. looks, that looks painful. It was. Yeah, I almost <laughs> stuck plastic to my toes. You cook the sausages, you know. But if, if you, can you skip through to the end? Do you know? Look, okay, go back, like back there. Next one. Fingers, gecko fingers are also a thing. Only in that. This is what I would get sent. That my fingers and toes look like this. Um, and it's, you know. You're playing it up. You're oh, playing sure. I got, it up. I got to my Although that is hard to do is to like stretch out all of your toes at once. I can do it, you know. But it's people still message me about my feet. And even like yesterday, people will be like, Why, where's the feet content? Why have we seen your toes in an Instagram feet, Instagram posts recently? You only got three toes. Have you, okay, but, is it where your second toe, your second toe is quite a bit longer than your other toes, right? Yeah, and look, even You're, this Maxim magazine, you know, I got free, free content given away, you know? And what, the quote says, what does the quote say? He called you gorilla toes, but let's see. If I... All right, I'm going to read it. I wish yeah. my best fiscal asset would be my feet because I've heard that people pay a lot for... Those puppies on the internet. Those puppies on the internet. Okay, so this was in a Maxim interview last year. And I said Gabby, that, you look gorgeous, by you. the way. I don't even know why people would be staring at your feet unless they actually have a foot fetish. But, but I said that mm-hmm. offhandedly, and I love that they chose this quote to use on a full page spread. Because it, like, shows, it shows your personality and your sense of humor. That's why. I mean, out of everything I said, they, they chose to highlight that. But so I've, my feet have always been a, a bit of an insecurity for me. Mm-hmm. And I heard about this thing called wiki feet yeah. that other people, not me, it's not like Wikipedia. I can't, I don't think go in. You don't have any control over it. That I heard, you know, people rate other people's feet. And I was like, I have to wiki feet myself. You know, people Google themselves. Mm-hmm. I have to look at myself on this website and see what score I get. Yeah. And guess what, baby? Five stars. Five fucking Five stars. stars. <laughs> Five fucking stars. I, it made my whole week. I called my mom, called my dad. My mom was like, what the Aww. fuck is going on? Look. How many people voted? I'm curious. I don't know. I don't want to know me. No, no, no. Sc- scroll to the right. Scroll. I don't want to know. Because if to it's one right, person, I'm going to cry. No, 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 no. 150, oh, 235. 151 said beautiful, 44 nice, 31 okay, only six said ugly. Six. Do you know what it reminds me of though? <laughs> wait, wait. Have, have you seen Shallow Hell? Okay, this the scene where he's dating this stunning girl, 10 out of 10. And, he, and he's, just, he's just cringing and Jack Black's like, wait, what? What's wrong? She's gorgeous. Yeah, but the toe. The, the toe, toe, man. Yeah, she just has, she has a one long toe. Like you do. I do have my second toe. You have the long toe, yeah. Than my, than my big toe. But this was, this made my whole week. I couldn't, you could, honestly, like, Hen- Henry Cavill could have walked down the street and called me beautiful, and it would not have made me feel as good as this did. That, you know? that healed a trauma deep within you. It really did. It now, did. I'm just like, before I was like, oh, let me wear clothes and shoes on my Instagram photos. Now I'm like, 
<laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm like bringing the sandals out for summer. <laughs> you know? Like, it's gonna... <laughs> Can I see my wiki feet? <sighs> Please? Mm-hmm. I'm curious. I've always, I've always been told, because I have some serious arches going on. Th- that's good, right? People love the arches. People the foot love fetish the arches, guys. yeah. And I used to be really flexible. I'm not as flexible anymore. But I used to be able to put my feet behind my head. I can still do that. Do you stretch? Yeah. You stretch for it? Not stretch for it. But I used to like... I'm, I'm getting a vision. I know what you stretched for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm a five star too. And then oh, we, look we, at look, this. We see some little feet. I wouldn't scroll down, but we see some little feet. <laughs> oh, Mia, yours is so much more impressive. Five... Th- oh, wait. No, you're- go, go to the right. Wait. How did you get five? Wow. 2,638. Wow. 2,174. Give me five stars. Wait, how did you get... If you go back to the rating, how did you get 5.78 out of five? How did you beat the maximum score? I don't know. You are such an overachiever. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Jesus Christ. I catered towards them a lot, though, in my youth. <laughs> I was feeling good about myself until I saw your rating. You know, it's like an Uber rating. You just, it's, it's doesn't make sense, but you take pride in it. I have a five star Uber rating. You do? I, yeah, I got into a lift re- or a lift rating. I got into one recently because I lift everywhere. And the guy was like, I was so excited to see someone, like, to meet the person who has five stars and over, you know, 2,000 rides. He's like, that's really rare. Do you talk to them? I, be- I know you're a talker. No. Nope, you yap. Nope. I know you're a yap. I don't know. <laughs> you're joking. <laughs> you don't talk? No. I get annoyed if they talk to me. <laughs> I don't want to talk to them. Damn, I only have 4.87. And I'm a fucking delight in an Uber. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. You talk to them? Never. Mm. You know, I usually get in with the headphones in. Yeah, that's that's what I do. Or if they start talking, like, I just, I'll answer, but I won't ask questions back. Mm. Kind of let them know I'm, this is my me time. Mm-hmm. I've been reading a book. Which oh, one? cool. Okay, so I went, I went to Cabo recently, and I brought a book with me. My younger brother had got it for me. He usually gets me a, a book for, like, my birthday and Christmas. But this one is a high fantasy romance novel. Do you want to hear about it? I do. Okay, yay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed. But pretty much, I think that the name is bad. It's called A Serpent... It's called The Serpent and the Dark Wings. Can you look it up, Richie? The the name is the name doesn't roll off of the tongue. But pretty much this this book, you can go on Amazon. Okay, so The Serpent Wing or The Serpent and the Wings of the Night. Terrible name. You go on Amazon, it has like 70,000 reviews and all of them are five stars. Um, it's about vampires. And it's like a it's a vampire meets Hunger Games. So, Hot. Yeah. Vampires fighting in a Hunger Games style competition. Yes. Hot. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, I get it. So, like, like, yes. Fantasy. Thank you. Thank Straight you. Away. So, Say less. Yes. I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I love anything that's fantasy or romance, but pretty much there's a, um, there's a human and one of the vampire lords takes her in, mm-hmm. which they don't really do. And he raises her as his own. And she wants to turn into a vampire for different reasons. But in this realm, you can't turn into a vampire without a lot of risks. Like more often than not, humans that are turned end up, they can't uh, withstand the turning process and mm-hmm. they end like up Twilight. passing away. Is that the same? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's 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 a process to turn into a it, vampire. It is, you know, in, right? in any book. Okay, you know? okay, perfect. Um, and in order, they all worship this, uh, these gods and goddesses. And mm-hmm. Nyaxia is the goddess who created all the vampires. That's their goddess. Those are all her children, and they go through her trials. And at the end of it, these at the end of these trials, she gets to bestow upon them a gift of their choice. Well, it's very fun, adventurous, but she also meets a sexy vampire named Ren. And I think that's how you pronounce it because it's spelled funny. Not a hot name. Sorry, Ren. Or Rain. I don't really know. It's like Tim. Not but, a hot but, name. But what are, what are like, if you can think of your fantasy vampire in a, <laughs> in, in a book, what qualities do you think he would have to have for you to get all hot and heavy for Easy. him? Damon Salvatore from... 
Vampire Diaries. Okay, so he's he's more of he's a little bit of a villain, but he's actually has a heart of gold deep down. He, but he's conflicted. I mean, the conflicted part I can take or leave, but just like his character, hundred percent in Vampire Diaries. I think that's similar to what our guy is, yeah, Arwen, where he's sarcastic. He's he has a a rough outer shell, but he's tender and like his actual qu- qualities on the inside are super loyal. I just got to the sex scene. It took me 300 pages. It took you 300 pages to get to a sex scene and you kept reading it? Yeah. It's like, because I feel like I'm getting dick teased for 15 hours, which is really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> you want that? Yes. Because when I finally get to it, I I don't get excited about anything like that. Like I, I, know. I feel my whole body just vibrating. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I really hope your significant other doesn't watch our podcast because I think you've said multiple times how hard it is for you to get excited. It is so. hard. It really is. So this got you off. I like foreplay or I like things that are so visualizing things, but I I'm, I get excited in the moment. Me being, I'm not a perverted person. So I can't sit yeah. there and think, oh, in the future, like this could happen. I I don't give a shit. It's mm-hmm. when things are actually happening that I get excited. Okay. Does that Just, make sense? Yeah, 300 and how many pages later, you eventually got excited? I was getting very excited because I knew it was coming. Okay. I could sense it. I've read enough of these books that I know I'm going to get a very detailed sex scene that mm-hmm. I've I've waited 300 pages for. See, I'm the kind of person I Google the end of movies. <laughs> so if I was if I was reading this book, I would Google or Reddit what page is the sex scene on, and I would flip to page three hundred what fifteen twenty. Yeah, immediately. But then you, it's not as meaningful. But I I do I, mean, I, I do that as well before I'll start a book because honestly, for the longest time, I can't remember the last book I read that didn't have a sex scene. So I will before I start one flip through just to make sure that there's one in there. <laughs> it's, it's, that, it's that important to me. You, you just Google it? No, I flip through because I like libraries too, and I like actually having a book. Oh yeah, I like I love reading, but I yeah. can't do the Kindles. I can do, I can do Kindles. They're nice at night because you have you don't need a light on. I just need a physical book. I do like physical books thing. more though. You know? Yeah, it's just something about it. It's like adds to the cozy vibe. Yeah. I do you want to read that book? I kind of do now, but now you told me the page number that I have to skip. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's so much better. That's such a long time, though. I know it's not like a but do, it, but that's such a long time but, to but wait. But leading up to it, it's so good. It is very adventurous and fun. Like, I, I do highly re- recommend it. If you just want, like, something to escape into. Like, I, I love okay. books that you, you could just escape the real world. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I love that idea. I just, I'm going to have to exercise some real self-control. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just spent one whole day in my bedroom like this and I, everyone's texting me like no one I'll so, talk to you tomorrow I will, I will say I did so I got to my page and I did my thing <laughs> like, I'm so stupid. you did your thing? I did my thing okay. with the page but I, I <laughs> used vibrators and I just left it out there on the counter and then my boyfriend had a bunch of his friends over to play board games and apparently it was still out there <laughs> was it cleaned? no but it, it, it's not you don't it's just a regular vibrator. You don't you don't go internal with it. Okay. It's like nice stimulus. That makes a big difference. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> was there any commentary on it or was it just like, okay, it's I mean, I wasn't there, but he was like, Yeah, she's read she's reading this book. <laughs> <laughs> she's really into it. <laughs> like, that's, that's amazing. That's like kind of wholesome. <laughs> That's like kind of wholesome to be like, my girlfriend's reading this book. That's why her vibrator was yeah. like My girlfriend was like watching porn at 8 a.m. Yeah. She's just reading a, a romance novel. And I did like, you and know, I did by the wanna fireplace. Work. I feel I was. I was under my little uh, I, believe you. I was under my heated blanket and I actually had tea next to me. I had lavender tea and I had some puppies on each side of my bean bag. It was really nice. <laughs> That's the most wholesome way possible you could po- uh, you could get caught with a vibrator. It's self it's self care, you know. It really is. Just you know, you have like your skincare, your gua sha, and then your vibrator. Yep. You know, like, it's like, you know just out of the morning. Do the books get really graphic during those sex scenes? They get so graphic. Okay, so it's like pornography. It's like, like pornography. Wow. wow. Um, I don't know certain things that they say like. Oh, God, I actually have the book, but I don't think I can read it because I was reading it on the way over here. Um, okay. You're that's reading, you're but like, you're reading a, a, in the Uber? 
Mm-hmm. Oh, we paused the sex scene over here. Yeah, but now they're just doing it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you have a five star Uber rating. I already know it. I already yeah. know it. This is five why. Stars. This, is, this is for sure why. <laughs> See, I was fucking scared. My 4.87 bullshit. <laughs> Um, I know how to get my Uber writing up now, though. <laughs> just, just read. I'm in the back, just reading like romance porn. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. He's like looking the rearview mirror. He's like, you know, four point nine at least. Four point nine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next thing you know, I'll get a five point seven eight rating on yeah, it. Yeah, it seems to be a trend for you. Mm-hmm. Overachiever, as I said. It is very graphic, though. Um, it's like. Like he slid into me with his like this whole thing hard- is beeped out, right? <laughs> I know. No, with his hard member, like I like they use all this. Uh, yeah, like like I wrote him to ecstasy. I called his name. He whispered in my ear. Like it just, it, this, and this is pages of it. Like they really, they they've just they know they knew what they were doing. They were building it up, and they wanted you to. They used the word member. I don't know if it's member. Can I can I have my book? Yeah. I'll show you. I'll read just like words if out a, of it. If a guy called this his dick important. a member in real life. That'd be weird. That'd be so weird. This is a fantasy novel. They're not going to say but, penis. But, but no wonder but why men are confused. Cough. Because women read this shit and we're like, we love it. Where men call their dicks members. And if a guy ever said that to you and I in real life, Do you want we would member? run. <laughs> we would run so quick. Of course. A member. Um, let's see. What should they call it? Yeah, what should yeah, they call it? I'm very, know. I'm very curious. <laughs> just like, fuck, <laughs> is fine. This has to be beeped out for sure. My mother cannot see this. <laughs> I think, I think cock is good. Just either, just remember. Is cock good? Because cock feels like, like, what am I trying to be like, uh, Johnny Sins or something? What else would you call it? Dick. Or- Dick. My yeah. date? That's fine, too. That's okay. fine. That's fine, too. But yeah. then some guys like don't like when, some girls don't like when guys say tits and I don't. I use that word myself. You don't yeah, like the that's tits? that's the thing you guys No, I, I don't mind sure. it. It's fine. Mm. I didn't even think that too hard about it, but... I'm curious what they called it in this. I'm on my pages right now, but like right now... She's just going to start reading right now. the rest of the podcast. <laughs> he's yeah, just, he's just currently eat. eating yeah. her out. Hold yeah, on. I'll I've, just, you know, I guess I'm taking it from here. <laughs> it's fucking checked out. Um, the most okay. views ever. <laughs> yeah. He was so much bigger than I was used to. Oh. Um, let's see. She's getting lowered down right now. <laughs> lowered down. As he buried so deep inside of me. Maybe they're, they're not like calling it anything. Maybe they're just calling it him. Him. He's inside of me. That's romantic. That's right. That's, yeah. Is that I think that's as romantic as you can make a dick. There's no romantic it way. It is to say a romance novel. At all. Like there's, but it's also action adventure. There's no loving <laughs> way to say the word dick. Like, it is just not. I'm sorry. I feel like men, it's pretty loving for them, just not for women. Like, I yeah, feel but- like men show their love with their dicks. <laughs> I'm not going to perpetuate that. I, you know, there are you many can't love say languages. that because then guys huh? will be like. So, there are many love languages. What are your love languages? You know what I do? Hmm. If I like someone, I like I'll get them presents. Ah, okay. That's something I notice and that's how I know I like someone. Yeah. If I see something like I want to like show them my appreciation that way. Not nothing like not like a BMW or something. No, it's, like, it's just showing that they said something and you remembered what they said. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you that, give them your time, like yeah. all the time mm-hmm. that you can give them. It hasn't worked recently though. No. Really? Yeah, they're just like I got a like a picture a girl sent me who got like a boyfriend this summer and she was like I love my Air One cup and I was like oh cool. <laughs> wait 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 what? Maybe the time was that wasn't cutting it. Yeah. A little one on one Carlos time. Yeah. I, I I love that my my an ex boyfriend used to get me like a coffee every morning. Yeah. Little from, act- like my favorite coffee shop just like down the street and like that that meant more than you know little something just service. being like okay I'm gonna go get her a necklace to shut her up. I'm like, I, I'm such, I'm trying to say like, I love it's, coffee and I, it's like the most important part of my day. So the fact that he like would walk there every day and get it for me and bring it back, like yeah. that meant a lot to me. Yeah. Like, it's all coffee. It's not that difficult. Yeah. It's the little things for me too. I don't like big gestures or like mm. big gifts. I like, I like tickles. Like it means a lot to me if somebody tickles my back cool. often and relaxes me. <laughs> no, it really does. That's my thing. I've had somebody sign a contract before and it wasn't a real contract. Okay. But like just like a just so I could bring it back every so often that they agreed to do it as much as possible. 
I love that. Not the tickling part. part weird as shit. Not for me. But <laughs> the contract. The contract part. I want to contractually. Um, what's the word? Obligate. I want to contractually obligate men. Contractually bind men. If they start off doing something that I like, they have to keep doing it. Yeah, here it you is. Know? Here it you is. Start off writing coffee in the morning. If you think you can stop that, a year later like, when they're taking me for granted. Hey, yeah, <laughs> this is it. You, look what you signed. You have to go get me a three dollar coffee every morning. Get mm -hmm. your ass up and walk to the coffee shop. Yeah, you know, you sign a contract. It's even nice little things like, say, if I come back from when I came back from Cabo, I like to come back to like a, a clean house and I'll clean before I leave, and yeah. that way, I can just relax from my vacation. Yeah, I mean, if you and, live with someone that's just being considerate. Like, yeah. You know? Or, no, when they, they went above and beyond to clean. Yeah. That type of stuff, like, means a lot and I think is really sweet. Yeah. It's the little things. Mm -hmm. Do you do that, Carlos? Oh, yeah. When I, I actually, I don't know if you know this, I'm divorced. I oh, I did know not that. know that. Yeah, and um, my ex would always clean before vacations and stuff. But if she went to go see her mom by San Diego or something, I would clean the house, just vacuum because we had dogs and stuff. Yeah, that means yeah. You wanted yeah. To her to come back and like just be happy yeah. when she got back. I liked it. It was just like let's make our our den like clean. Like she'll appreciate yeah. that and yeah, make life easier. Yeah, I'm like that though. Like I. I get a little bit OCD sometimes with cleaning. So, like, I appreciate that a lot. Yeah. You know? I'm curious, what do you do uh, as in to show your love? I'm a very physically affectionate person, and I don't like to be touched by people mm. Mm. in general. Like, it took me years. Like, I have only recently got comfortable with, like, going to the chiropractor and getting mas massages. Because mm. I would be on trips with, like, influence trips, and everyone would get a massage, and I couldn't get a massage because I didn't like being touched. And there's no past trauma. I just want to put that out yeah. there. There's no, <laughs> there's like no, <laughs> yeah, there's no deep, deeper reason that I don't want to be touched besides the fact that I was just never one of those girly girls who would like hug their girlfriends mm -hmm. or like just be really physically affectionate with do you like have other a, people. Do you mind when, because I think I always hug you hello. Yeah, I'll, I'll hug you. Is hello. that fine? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, trust me, I'm, I'm so much better. Yeah. I used to be terrible. There's only like one of my girlfriends, the girl who I have like a, this matching tattoo with, mm -hmm. that she would hug me and she would like take so much pride in the fact that she would be the only person she would hold my hand, hold yeah. my arm, and I would feel comfortable with that. But I, I'm definitely better, but I used to like, girls used to hug me and it wasn't like because I didn't like them or I wasn't yeah. friends with them, but I would just kind of be like this. It put you on guard. I just like wouldn't be a hugger. Mm -hmm. So if I'm like very physically affectionate with someone, if I was like holding their arm or their hand, that I'm like, I love you. Yeah. Because that, that, that was like hard for me. Um, that makes sense. And I feel like I'm that way a little bit with uh, with people too. Mm -hmm. If there's someone who's very touchy feely and they'll like, and, and I'm talking about like say women and they like, yeah. You know, they'll rub your back or they'll hold your hold your hand. Just affectionate and very friendly. I don't mind it. I, I like it, but I'm very aware of it. Yeah. Because it's a little out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. But it is a nice thing. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I don't know. I think I think it's been different with different boyfriends because I've tried to it's like it's like everyone's like love languages are different. So I'd like I would make an effort to try and like know what their love language is. Mm -hmm. And you know, one boyfriend haven't had that many relax but like you know <laughs> was like just like quality time and then like you know someone else was like you know making dinner if they had like a long day at work or whatever it was yeah um so i think that's the best thing is just like knowing what the other person's love language is instead of like just my own because yeah. some people it's i mean it's obviously different for everyone instead of just assuming what the other person wants yeah you know that makes sense i think for me i'm, I'm similar to carlos where i uh i I give them a lot of my time because I consider time to be that you give somebody to be very pre like precious. Mm -hmm. mm. And especially okay. when you're introverted, like that is something that I don't give a lot of people. Yeah. And that's just like me as a person. So if I'm giving all of it to one person, that's me showing like I love you and yeah. you're important to me. Yeah. Even if I'm not the nicest during that time. <laughs> you're not the nicest. Oh, you're just around you're in, a, you're in a bad mood. Yeah. Even if I'm in a bad mood, usually I'd rather still have them there. Yeah. Do you want them to like take care of you during those times? It's like, I'm mad, but I need you. I, I want you here. Like, 
Help me, like. Be- I I would prefer tickles. <clears throat> oh, okay. And is some tea. Code for anything, or is it no? Really- if a guy tickles, no, it's just like bag, not not actual tickling. <laughs> I would. Want- wait, wait, wait! Not not tickling. <laughs> it's like softies, like the rubbing. No, okay. I knew that like one. That. Yeah, oh, I, I thought like actual tickling. No, I no that's like, a form I of torture. Grow, yeah, uh, that's hands. that's actual torture. No, okay. just like nice soft. Oh, thank tic- God! Like no, I soft really rubs. thought you were talking about being tickled. No, is that's it? weird. Okay. That's just like this. That's <laughs> fine. That's- foreplay though. Or is it just... No, no, I hate when it's foreplay because that's a big issue I have. Is when I'm getting tickled, they'll be feeling my body and they'll get turned on. And then they've just intruded on my me time. Like something that was supposed to be for me. I see. <laughs> no. You've established this about me. It's no time. You know? Well, what's crazy is my ex-wife loved that same thing. Mm-hmm. But it was foreplay. And it was... Whoa. Yeah, it was called like massage fuck. <laughs> And it was like straight to the point, very direct. Yeah, I mean, no miscommunication there, Carlos. Did you do it while you were having sex? No, no, it was was before. Yeah, it was like a massage, and she'd be like on her stomach, and it would just become sex. Interesting. But it was like a treat for her. Like she treat for you too. Yeah. Like no, it's a treat for me too. Obviously. (laughs) I mean, I requested it a lot. (laughs) You want a massage? Can I give you a massage? Aw, she trained you. <laughs> Truly, there's not one massage that doesn't lead to sex. I would like it to not. No, that's totally no. For, for, I know from for me. For yeah, me. of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because not- when I want a massage or tickles, it's like I don't. I'm looking, I'm really looking to relax. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're like, it's all about me. Not about you, it's all about me. Yeah, I, I see like a, a hard dick start to form and I'm like, you're, stri- you're stressing me out. Like, you're supposed to be relaxing me. <laughs> Is it because you feel like you have to like, now it's work time or something? Y- yeah, because then I feel like it's no longer a nice thing that they're yeah, doing they for me. Now, yeah, now it feels selfish. Oh, that's interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay, so with massage fuck, it was like the whole point was that it was just for her. Yeah. And like, obviously, I had a good time too, Gabby. But <laughs> but it was like, you don't have to move. It yeah. It was like, you yeah. just like, there's no work involved. Me doing the whole thing? Yeah, it was just like... You oh, that's my type of... <laughs> <laughs> to, to massage fuck? <laughs> like, sure, that, that sounds like a bit of me. Yeah. <laughs> that's going to be your new code word. You're <laughs> like, I want this kind of sex. I don't want to move. But I, I get 10 fuck. minutes of the massage first. Yeah, yeah, um, that's, yeah fair. that's good. But yeah, I, I think that, that because you guys were mutually agreeing on it, mm-hmm. that was like a something that you two had together. So yeah, that it's makes, like a sweet That thing. makes sense. Whereas like me me enjoying the, the rubs and being relaxed by them, I've been like that since I was a kid because I was a very hyperactive child. Mm. My mom has five of us mm. and I was the hardest for her to handle. Like I was, I was the wild one. Really? When I was younger. Okay. Yes. How so? Um, I just had so much energy and I guess so much spirit. I love to run away. I love to scream. I love to get naked and like I would run out of the apartment complex and she wouldn't be able to catch me. Naked? Yes. Okay. But this was very young. Very young. Um, I. That makes it worse. (laughs) Yeah. I I was really quick to fight with everybody. Mm. Like all of my siblings like physically fight with them. Oh, okay. Um. I would even my mom, she has this funny story where she was in the grocery store and she was like pushing me, pushing me along in the cart. And out of nowhere, I whacked her face as hard as I could. (laughs) And she was like, why did you hit mommy? And I was like, you hit me first. And she didn't even hit me. I think I just perceived that she hit me. But that's good. That's the kind of child I was. Wow. But so like growing up, the the rubs was something that always calmed me down. Like a puppy. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You're, and the, would always you're just, so not like that now. You're so like calm and serene. I I'm like. I'm her most relaxed child as an adult. It it, it sometimes happens like that like that though. Yeah. Because like it I was switch. Yeah. Like I was switch as a complete opposite as a child. Not the complete opposite. I'm still a homebody now, but I was so. I had such a crazy type A personality. I was so OCD. Mm-hmm. I was such a nerd at school. Um. I was like super critical of myself, like super hard on myself all through school. How old were you? Like the whole way. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, but is that pretty normal? Like yeah, while kids but, are still figuring it out? But now I'm like much less of a perfectionist and I'm like mm-hmm. definitely not 
like I'm talking crazy OCD with like cleanliness, with like the way things were like labeled, like all my books had to be. This are is you, not autism, guys. Wait, <laughs> wait, are you lying again? Because you give me a no. vibes or since we've been working together. No, I'm compared to what I used to be. Absolutely not. Okay. But just like as a kid and my mom was like always, she's like, you are my easiest child by far. Like I never caused my problem, my parents any problems. I never got detention. I never got grounded. I never snuck out to meet boys. Mm. Um, like I was like living like an hour and a half away from home my last like two years of high school. Could have had boys over, could have gone to parties, could have snuck out. I didn't do that once. I was such a fucking nerd. My parents were like, we we trust her. We yeah. trust her like 15, 16, 17. Like we actually completely trust her. Yeah. Like she's not going to get me boys and, and I didn't, you know. The parties I could have had, I just, or gone to or stuck out to, I didn't do anything. And then I think I, I never really had a rebellious phase, but probably like living on the, on the other side of the world and just like living in LA in general, like one of the biggest cities in the world. My parents are like, you're definitely the one we worry about most. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and my sisters never really gave my parents much problems now, but my middle sister, she's probably the most wild and now she's like the mum. Yeah. You know, she's just so like, just well put together as yeah. like I was a girl in her mid twenties. She's just like, yeah, I don't drink, I don't go out. You know, I feel like that can change though. I feel like people go through cycles in life. Mm-hmm. So every five to ten years, like maybe you'll go five years and you don't drink and party, and then mm-hmm. maybe you'll hit some sort of crisis in your life, and you're dealing with something internally, and you go out and you're you're in your milf stage. <laughs> like, you know, you're after the after the young Second ones wind. for a couple of years oh, and yeah. partying, and then you like fall back into what really makes you happy for a couple of years, and then. I don't so know. normal. Yeah, we just go through waves. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Especially in LA. Mm. Oh, yeah, because we live in Peter Pan City. Yeah. You know, whenever I go home and people are like, people getting married and having kids, I'm still asking them, like, was this an accident? You know, like, was this, was this, are y'all like, trying to get married and have kids? Gabby is for sure. I can, uh, we've talked about this on the, on the, one of our last ones. Oh, yeah, I don't, I'm not the kids thing. Oh, the kids thing scares the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah. but you want like a long term partner. Yeah, I mean, like, I've always had like long term yeah. partners. How do you find that here with uh, Raya and Hinge and all these apps and all these men on Instagram? Half of them have wives, all these things. Like, like, uh, how is it navigating that? Like, the guys here are very different to men in Australia, and even what I'm attracted to. I'm just like, it's hard for me to be attracted to a lot of people here because I think we were raised very differently. Yeah. I was raised very differently yeah, in Australia. It sounds like you appreciate a lot of the things that you grew up with, and mm-hmm. so that's what you're looking for. And it doesn't mean it doesn't necessarily mean that um, the men here, there's something wrong with them. It's just, it's personal preference. I don't go out. Like, I don't go to, not that I think you're gonna meet great people at bars or clubs or anything, but then also this is a huge problem I have. Um, every time I leave my house, I have the really big headphones on. Like, just because I listen to musical podcasts constantly. Yeah. So. You're also sending out a signal. I'm sending out. You don't want people to talk to you. And also I don't. Like, I'm never in a Starbucks line or at the gym and I want a guy to come talk to me. Same. You know, so like, if I I leave the house without my headphones, I drive back and pick them up. Like, I just don't. So. So how does someone ask Gabby Epstein out? Well, when you figure out that answer, tell me, because I would like to know, please. (laughs) There's a bunch um, of models in LA who have the answer. There's a bunch of guys who have asked you out. I mean, DMs, I, I, DMs probably have the best shot at working. And like, cause some, I won't check them for like weeks at a time, but sometimes I, if I'm bored, I'll check them. Um, but I don't know. I feel like if you just, if you, if I went to the profile and they had like a bunch of like douchey photos up, no, mm-hmm. like that's such an ick. If they just like look, people won't believe me. If they just look like a nice person, I'm probably going to reply to them. Like you can just like tell. You can't. Yeah. You know, you should yeah. just like look like a nice person. Um, I also appreciate boldness, you know? Mm-hmm. I feel like all women say this and it's so true. Confidence. It is. It's it, it's confidence and just you, like You can be boldness. five foot five with confidence and it'll you know? get my attention. <laughs> no, truly. Like, five like, foot four. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I, I was I was in an Uber once and a guy like ran, he, like, I think he saw me get in the Uber. So he ran across the street and put like both his hands like on the hood of the Uber. Don't do this. This is a huge safety hazard. That's scary. But I was like, I have Wait, to. Wait, he what? You. What did he do? He like, j- kind of like jumped in front of the Uber. 
Like, because they saw me, like, walk from, like, the gym to, like, an Uber. Oh, Jeez. that's kind of hot, though. It was hot. Like, it was, it was really hot. So hot. And he was hot, right? He wasn't, like, my type, but I was like, that's hot. That is, yeah. Yeah. That would capture my attention, You too. have guys jumping in front of cars for you? <laughs> we were jumping. We were moving at, like, like, two miles an hour. Like, it wasn't, like, we weren't on the freeway. But he was like, I'm not letting her get away. Yeah, but he I has love that. To say that's something. cool as hell. But, um. It's like a movie, like a rom-com. Yeah. But I, I honestly appreciate boldness. Like I remember, I was in, I was in, I was in Venice just like a few months ago, um, and just a group of people, and one of the guys was like, "Oh, that girl like skateboarding past was like really pretty, or walking on the other side of the road," and she was like, "I think she had a skateboard, or she was skateboarding." And I was like, "Go up and like say something to her," and he was like, "No, I'm way too shy," and I was like, yeah. "She will love it. Like she'll love it. Yeah. Like I would love it if I was like, you know, she's like on a skateboard and a guy like." cross the street to say just say hi to her it's a don't be a fucking creep just say hi how's your day going you're really pretty do you know i think that goes so far i agree do you know what i don't love what hiking by myself and getting hit on while i'm hiking well you should never hike by yourself no oh you mean the runyon or something yeah like oh. runyon or fryman there's a bunch of other people there. no i know but I just... then you're stuck next to the person like where am i gonna go <laughs> like i'm just walking 10 feet up 10 Wait, feet ahead of them quietly. <laughs> that must happen to y'all, huh? Like It does happen. Y'all are on Runyon or Fryman or one of those Griffith Park. You're walk, you're hiking mm-hmm. and a man just goes, hey. Yep. And I, decides he wants to start talking to me. Wow, you know you're what? really beautiful. We, like, but, but who, you know who what? are you? What's your name? They can't win because I'm listening to us and I'm like, we sound insane. We're saying, come up and talk to us in public. But then we're like, don't talk to us in public. <laughs> don't do, don't do, what? What? Don't we do where we can't get away. Nuts. We have to be able to have an out. Exercise is like it's a peaceful time it's for mental health and stuff. exactly like- and if i'm going by myself i'm being very mindful like i'm looking around i'm yeah. like inwardly thinking to myself i don't want to have a conversation with some random guy for the next 30 minutes and i have anxiety walking like i will finally like kind of trail off the conversation and then i'm just 10 feet ahead of him for the remainder of the hike i try he to walk that, faster sure. He loves the I try to watch you. <laughs> yeah. I try. I try to gain some distance, you know? and then like it's just ruined. <laughs> you know what? I was I was a, I was running on the treadmill at Equinox, and like I'm not. Uh, first of all, I'm not a cute runner. Like I was fucking <laughs> pounding this treadmill. I was dripping in sweat. Like I, my hair was. Like, it was not. You know, like they do in like a Lululemon ad. Yeah. Fuck no! I look like I just came out of a sauna. Like pounding, like sprints on this treadmill. And this guy came up to me and I was like, he's like, I think I match with you on a dating app. And I was like, my dude, That's like, I'm, just, I'm literally like, I was so out of breath. I couldn't even say anything to him. I was like literally dripping in sweat, headphones on. I had a hat on like mm-hmm. kind of over my face. And I was like, could you not have waited? Like I have like 13 minutes left. Like oh. just wait till I go stretch or something. Ugh. And he was like such an, he was really nice, very sweet guy. But I was like, this is not the time. Like I, I felt gross. Like just, you know, that makes, out of breath. Yeah. I was like, dude, I just I have, pick a better time. I have something that I do if I go somewhere, and usually if I'm not on camera, I I call it like, like homeless mode. I'm not dressed <laughs> up. I don't have oh, makeup, yeah. hair. Goblin. Oh, most of, oh, yeah, I'll go mode. days without washing my hair. I don't fucking care. I don't care what I look like. But if I go to one of my places. And on my like little route that day, and there's somebody that I find attractive, I will never go again. Because now they've just made me feel self conscious. Wow. Just for being attractive, or or even if they look like they find me attractive, you don't go the next day. Because like... then I care about what I look like. Oh, even if you're not into them. And well, if I find yeah, even if I'm I'm not going to take anyone home. I'm like, I'm yeah. in a relationship, but I don't even like seeing attractive people on my route. Oh, I couldn't give a shit. You wow. should see the way I look when I go get coffee every morning. <laughs> like, I swear sometimes, like, I'll, cause I'll go get coffee multiple times a day. So even this morning, like, I went in my pajamas to Starbucks and the is like, you yeah, know, morning, Gabby. I'm like, good morning. And then I come back and I'm like dressed for a podcast and I have my makeup done. I look cuter when I came in here, but like, I have my makeup done, my hair done. And he's like, is this the same person? <laughs> you know, yeah. like it's just they see me at just like so many different levels. Yeah. They're just like, this girl's a fucking shapeshifter. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, like she, I, I, yes, like I think of myself as a shapeshifter too. And I, I've gotten to the point where I have two Starbucks, like like equal distance from me, depending on how I looked 
on which one I went to earlier in the day, I'm like, do I go to, I have to go to the other one now. Cause they're just like, this girl did a full on transformation. You know, I just, cause it's, it's like, it's not cute in the mornings, you know, but I, I have I'm no sure problem. Is, but I just have no problem going out, like looking like that. I don't know. Covered either. in dog hair. Yeah. And just same. Same. It's, it's too much energy to, to try to look nice for people I don't know. Mm-hmm. And people, they're like, you know, just, you never know who you can meet. Not once have I ever been like, I'm I never so want glad to meet I anybody. Quit this I never want to meet anyone when I'm doing this. Yeah, I want. I'm so closed off. Like, I have certain modes. And if I'm, I, I have to prepare for socialization. Yeah. If I'm not prepared, I'm closed off. You're never going to get my number. We're never going to hang out afterwards. Mm-hmm. Like, it, I literally think of it as a waste of time mm-hmm. to have a conversation because I know it's not going to go anywhere. And I'd rather be watching a movie on my phone or doing like taking care, like, care of something. Oh, yeah. If I, I mean, if I had a job where, you know, you're front facing people and more like one of those girls, you have to put makeup on every day and look presentable, your hair done, I would survive a week. Like, I just can't. It's just too much effort. Nothing but respect for those girls, honestly. I don't know. Okay. I do it once a week for this podcast. <laughs> I'm like, that's. It's the best it's going to get all week. I think that's why I don't like to do Instagram stories. And I'm not good at Snapchats because I always look like shit. (laughs) (laughs) So not true. I look like shit in comparison to what I look like when I do choose to go in front of the camera. It's like all girls though. Yeah. You know, it's a, it must be so difficult for men because you you guys can't do any of that shit. Yeah, you just have to be your... Well, you just like yeah, you're, you're either na- you're just naturally yeah either naturally you got it or you don't. And women mm-hmm. and like womanhood is just a spectrum. You know, we can just look like a rat goblin creature, or you know, the hardest oh. thing you've seen all day. I'm curious. Are you still into a girl if she takes her makeup off and you don't find her attractive? Say never, say I've... say with the makeup, she's really hot, and you're like, yeah, this is fucking doable. She takes it off, ooh. It would feel like lying almost because. Um, I was even thinking all the girls I've dated or I'd like slept with or whatever. I thought they were most attractive in the morning. There's like that smell, the, like the naturalness of it all. Yeah. So I don't have this experience, but it would feel like deceptive almost. Like, I think a lot of men feel that way. Like they oh, like yeah, women. That's really why they ask you to go swimming or something. Yeah. You know, like they ask you to do something like, do you want to go hiking? Do you want to go swimming? They, they always ask that on like the first few dates, right? I don't think with somebody like you, because you don't wear a lot of makeup, so it it can't be that different. I think they, oh boy, I mean, I think guys in general have just like probably learned from past experiences, you know? But, you know, it could be the same as a beard. I've seen guys look very different with and without a beard, mm. you know? Like with a beard, it's like, you know, Jason Momoa vibes and you take it off and it's, you know? A very different viewing experience. Or they look homeless with a beard and they take it off and they're actually quite handsome. Yeah, so I guess makeup made the same thing, you know? Mm-hmm. Beards are the makeup, you know? Beards are the makeup of men. Yeah. There, <laughs> there, it is. There's also male concealer, like a Tom Ford and a Nordstrom, they have that. That's good. It's like something you can't really tell. That's similar to, like, I have a no makeup makeup and what, it, what I do is I use a tinted moisturizer. Mm-hmm. And you you can't see it on my skin, and then maybe I'll fill in my brows a little bit and darken them, and uh, put like some some chapstick on. It's my no makeup makeup. You shouldn't be able to tell. Yeah, I'm wearing know. anything, but just accentuates. What are you guys giggling about over there? Oh, I <laughs> <laughs> I literally turned to Richie and I went, I do that. I, I <laughs> you do the no makeup, makeup makeup. No, I've used male concealer, but I I was embarrassed because I was like, Gabby's gonna think I'm so gay. <laughs> She is. Though. Wait, it's just she's, she's judging like, you. <laughs> because I know Mia will be chill about it. She'll be like, oh, that's just Carlos. But Gabby would be like, you know, a dartboard later, like male concealer, son of a bitch. <laughs> hey. I am like worried that for guys to realize what I'm truly like. <laughs> no, you're great. I'm just, we all have to be honest. I actually like the male concealer. I, I think it's unfair that women are the only ones who get it. I I turned my brother onto the tinted moisturizer. If a man hugged me and yeah. I was wearing a white shirt or a white dress and I got makeup, 
on my white dress, I'd be so pissed. What if he had a pimple? Come on. Who's hugging your white like breasts? Like, yeah, why? Yeah, why are they that's putting that's their true. face on it? They're, They're like, crying you know, like, on you. Have you seen, have you seen, you've seen one in real life, two videos of like you've seen a guy at the bar and he has a white shirt on and he has just like like a foundation and yeah. you're like, I'm. Do you know? You got scammed, my friend. Do you know what would be an ick? What? Yeah, um, there's this fiber spray that men use <gasps> to fill in their hair if they're balding. Oh, and yeah. it looks really good, but I can imagine that if they sleep on a pillow, it's going to get all over the pillow and they're fucked. I, if I woke up after a night with somebody and that was all over the pillow, I'd be pretty grossed out. And he had like a Prince William headline. That'd be lying. You know? And so like they, they, you met them with like a Prince William young hairline yeah. like in his 20s. Oh, and man. then he came out the next morning and he had a <laughs> Prince William currently hairline. I feel like that would be the biggest jump scare I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. Yeah, it would be. It just all falls off in the shower. And the pillow is just like just brown melts or off. blonde or black, whatever the color is. And you're just like, oh, I... I feel like that's similar to like potentially certain women taking off their makeup. They're just like... <gasps> <gasps> you know what actually... We, I've been catfished. Okay, you know what? Okay, this is a male and female equivalent. But I will, I will say, I talk to a lot of men. Like, they really do... Some of them really do feel like this when the like women oh, take it. off their makeup. They're like, "Holy shit!" <laughs> no, I, I I get it, but I, I think there's like whatever gender equivalent it is. But this would be one. So, women like if you wear Spanx, right? Mm -hmm. How like if you have sex with a guy and you're wearing Spanx, how do you gracefully get out of that? Like <laughs> how do you it's dark? It has to be really dark. Yeah. Right? Like no no phone light showing at all. I feel like a woman shouldn't wear Spanx if she's even the possibility of getting light. Oh, there's 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 no chance. Like if, if I was wearing like a Skims body a Skims bodysuit, I I'm like, I'm not having sex tonight. There's no Yeah, chance yeah. That like, I I'm sorry, like, not tonight. It's not tonight. Like I'm gonna look good for other people. Not having sex tonight. Actors do that. Male actors do that. Like even ones in comedy, they'll wear Spanx. But the, I've, why? I've I've I know some people who have done that. But it's like movies. it's like before you're having sex, and you're the oh male, yeah, and you're the male equivalent would be if this guy was like six foot, and then you took him home to have sex, and he had lifts oh in his shoes, God. and he took his shoes off to have sex, and he's five foot seven. Okay, that's how tall I am, Gabby. No, but you're not. Are you five here. seven? Yeah. No, but there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with Thank that you. at I'm all. Five seven. Thank We're the you. same height. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that at all. But I'm, I'm saying it'd be a jump scare yeah. if you you start off six foot one, you take your shoes off and you're five foot seven. That's what Pacino and Robert De Niro have done their whole career. That's Oh, yeah. Robert De Niro is quite short. No, and, there's, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying if you took your shoes off before you got into bed and you're like, oh, my But it's goodness. alarming. Yeah. Yeah. You it's know? alarming. And in the same way as if a woman was undressing and she was wearing Spanx. Yeah. Should I not buy lifts? No, <laughs> I saw them on Amazon for fifty dollars, no. and I was like, "I don't think like, you should." Just own, own being a short king. Own, o yeah, own everything. Yeah, yeah, you have to own it. Just have confidence. Yeah, because the yeah. people you're trying to impress, there's nothing worse than trying to explain it away later. Or oh, once right? you show that you're insecure about it, then it's going. It's. I feel like, I feel like if there's a shorter guy and he just owns it, he has the confidence, doesn't even mention it, or maybe yeah. he thinks it's funny. I, I love shorter men with taller women. I think that that's hot. Oh, that's yeah. I really do. Yeah. But but if you're if you're showing that you are insecure about it, then I'm going to be insecure for you. Mm. Like, look at Tom Holland and Zendaya. It's such an uh, LA thing. I feel like there's so many actors here. They're not particularly, like, athletic, tall guys mm -hmm. that it's, like, the land of, like, short guys. Mm -hmm. But, like, I'll go to Texas, and I'm like, oh, men. They're all over six foot. This is crazy. Like, I mean, I've had you. I mean, like, I'm five nine, and I think maybe I look shorter online. I don't know. I'm like five nine, five ten. But guys always say to me, like, you're really tall. Like, you're like, and not in not in a good way, because I would have previous guys like I love that you're tall. Be like in a bad way that I'm tall, or like they're like cool. don't don't wear heels or like whatever. I'm like I'm gonna wear heels, but I'm not a heel girl. But if you tell me not to wear heels, I'm wearing I want to wear heels. Yeah. I'm wearing the biggest fucking stilettos I have in my, in my closet. I'll be in pain all night, but I'll do it to spite you. Yeah. You know? So, uh, but I, would, I wouldn't I would think twice about it if the guy was, like, shorter than me. It's just that if he made it an issue, I'd be like, why is this an issue for you? 
Yeah, I've noticed that. Like, girls really don't. I learned that as an adult. I'm like, oh, girls don't care about your height. You said, well, no. Oh, no, no, no. That's a lie. That's a lie. They do. Okay. Thank Sorry. you. Sorry. I'll be perfectly honest. I was, I was only into taller guys up until a couple of years ago. And I, for me, it was, it was more about them making me feel small. Mm. Like feeling small and delicate, like, especially because I'm a little on the curvier side and I'm five seven, which isn't, it's not, it's not sh- tall, but it's not short either. I'm, yeah. I'm average. So it was more a me thing, but uh, just as I've went on, I, I feel more comfortable in my skin and I've learned to like, just not care. Totally. But in- there are yeah. a lot of women who do, who definitely do. I feel more comfortable in my skin as I've gotten older. Yeah. Sure. And honestly, if you hit on a woman and she's not into you, oh, like not that she's not the woman for you. Yeah, she's yeah. not the woman you'd even want to take home, in my opinion. Yeah, there's like 20 million people in Greater LA. Exactly. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. You're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. Yeah, that's something that I've learned recently as well. Like if if I, cause, because this is the first time in my life I've been dating, and if like if I was not someone's cup of tea, I just I'm like I okay cool yeah. How many billion people are there in the world? It's not me. Like I just don't. Oh, or it is me, but just for them. Yeah, like I, I just don't care about rejection. Exactly, I don't care about rejection. I just either. don't. Like I'm like I don't okay either. cool. Have you seen like all the weird? I have, Walton? but it's like she's getting a BBL. That's what like, I was thinking. That's what I was thinking too. Is maybe it's plastic surgery. Oh. I didn't think she was actually sick. I thought it's chemo. She's going to do chemo now. Mm-hmm. Oh my! Great. I th- I thought. Her, I thought Prince William had an affair and there was like a child out of wedlock. Or yeah, or they were like, they were separating. I, and I didn't think they'd happen. separate because it's. I think it's just like. No offense, Prince Charles is dying very soon. Yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah, like, yeah. and he's he, and he got his crown quite late in life. Yeah, yeah. I think. <laughs> You know, just Lizzie was hanging the fuck on. <laughs> Do you love? Oh, was she 103 um, or something? <laughs> truly, just like even to the last day, it's the pinnacle of health. Yeah. But just like I just think that Prince William is going to be king sooner rather than you know he's not going to be king. He's not going to be 20 years, no. so they weren't going to get divorced. Yeah. It was going to be like a huge scandal if he had a child with another woman. You know, and I never want you know, don't wish anything bad upon anyone. But I've seen the crown. I'm not the biggest fan of the of the monarchy. Really, I would sit you, had, there. you had a problem with the crown? I would sit there with my Princess Diana t- sweatshirt on with I popcorn. Love, I love with popcorn. I love Princess Diana. I love Princess Diana. But the crown made you made you dislike the royal family completely even more. Yeah. Oh, it didn't do that for me. I've always loved the royal family. I just think that it's just an outdated scam. Uh, mm. like it's just, it's, there's there's no point. They're just useless figureheads. Yeah, well, that's the point, though, is that they're, they're there for morale and as like something. But do they they're, they're part morale? of they're part of the history. Theo they're, Vaughn provides more morale, I think, for the people in general than like Prince William. No, they're like, it's, it's. Aren't they related to like Henry the Eighth and Queen? He Victoria cut off his wives' heads. And, that's not a thing to be proud of, right? Yeah, people it, were so mad at him. They came to America. <laughs> And started this country. I, for I'm, 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 I'm just saying. They, <laughs> it, well, it's part of. I, I think that it's it's infamous. Like I would be proud to be related to to the Tudors. You be proud to be related to Henry VIII? Hundred percent. Oh yeah, that'd be so badass. I love his storyline, for better or for worse. I don't want to live it. Eight of his wives. Exactly, Mia. which is why we know his name. Don't put this out there. <laughs> if you want to go down history, just do some bad shit. You know? that, yes. <laughs> it's true, though. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mm. I, I couldn't kill us. Like, Australia's part of the monarchy. Like, under the monarchy. Do you resent mm. them? No. They're so far we away. We just don't think... think about them ever. Are they on your money? Yeah. They're on all our, all our, all our notes. Does and that breed slight resentment uh, growing up? Like these motherfuckers 6,000 miles away from me think they can tell me what to do? No. Are they still telling you what to do? Because I know the no, royal no, family they, they, doesn't they have, have any say. No, really. they have no input at, at all okay. into like any any of Australian politics okay. or Canadian politics or anything like that. Gabby, they do fundraisers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they do a lot of good with so their So they ask some money from, from taxpayers instead of donating... Well, they don't get that much money. They get enough, but they don't get that much. I think that I think that the it's like being president. You get paid. It's like being an influencer. Thousand. That's you not know? a lot to them. What? Yes, it it's is. It's like being an they're, influencer. Yeah, everyone hates them. 
but like you, your job is to basically sit around and do nothing and it's awesome yeah so I love them and I think they do a lot. Maybe that's why I have resentment because I'm like, I am them. Like I'm, I'm <laughs> like, I am them. Like I get paid to sit around and do nothing. Not gonna lie, well, being an influencer is the easiest job in the world. And I know that people hate me. Well, you're not, you're not, <laughs> you're not using it for good like they are. You're using it to fund your own life, similar to me. That's so it, that, that is the difference. That's the difference the dogs, that I you know? see. But yeah, but you're not using your platform for that as much. Yeah. Wow, I really have to take a hard look at myself in the mirror tonight. Hey, I've, I've accepted. <laughs> I've accepted that about myself. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm, not the, I'm not the best person. I'm no. not the most generous. I'm like, I'm, we're not out here trying to pretend we cure cancer. No. Um, anyone who not. is, they're fucking lying. No. Um, you know. No, it's, I want to keep. I want to keep my money and my spare time. I'm going to be reading my filthy novels. Ha ha ha! <laughs> yeah, I, you know, at least we're honest, right? That's yes. a good life. Yeah, yeah, it is. It really is the easiest. It is. I, 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 yes. When people complain about it, I'm like, I'm shocked. What What would you rather do? Like, what would you rather do? No. Truly, no. there's just Ma- the majority of my time is spent doing what I want to do, which is such a blessing. I I don't I rarely have to set any sort of alarm clock. Yeah, I sleep in. I have my mornings. Everything is set on my time, and I'm in control. And Jack just- Nicholson said that he became an actor so he could wake up at 11 a.m. Yeah. And the agents they can wake up at five. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Like I think it's a it's a beautiful way to live, and I. I wouldn't want it any other way. I feel very blessed. Oh, every day I genuinely feel so lucky. Like I'm, mm-hmm. I'm so grateful and mm-hmm. so lucky that like it just worked out this way for yeah. me. Um, but when people, yeah, that's like that's one of my pet peeves because we live in LA and people complain a lot. And this city is oh, it's so hard. You can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't like throw a Starbucks can. <laughs> you can't throw a Starbucks cup. You know, five feet in any direction, you hit an influencer in the city. So when people complain yeah. about it, I'm like, it's just, that blows my mind. You know? I mean, being a dolphin trainer would be pretty cool. But, like, that's the only other career that would, like, you know? I wanted, that, to, be, I wanted to be a zoologist. Or, like, one of those people that work with penguins at the zoo. Oh, Have penguins, you seen that? Yes. That would be cool. That would be oh, cool. Yeah. But I could also maybe pay someone to let me do that, too. Oh, so. yeah, you could totally go into a, I, I'm sure you could go into a penguin encounter. You know? That's the only other career option. I'd be like, fuck, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be fun. You know? <laughs> like, hanging out with penguins all day. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know? Or being David Attenborough. That'd be cool as hell. Mm. We all love him. You know? Yeah. His voice is so soothing. Does this make us look terrible, this conversation? No, it's honest. I, I, think, I yeah, think it's interesting. I think it's real. Like, yeah. I, I feel like so many people, especially when they're in the public eye, they, they all try to pretend like they're such good people and they do it a lot of the time not because they genuinely care but because they want to be perceived a certain way yeah like tech people we're huh? changing the world in yeah. tech they say no, that no you're not you're, you're just, just building another dating app nerd who wants our to information make yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 thank you everybody for watching out of bed and we will see you next week is that a terrible week? Yeah. That was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like someone with epilepsy, just like... <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>